We are about two months in 2024 and we have already seen massive layoffs across the tech industry. Therefore, it is essential to constantly learn and upskill to stay relevant. And there is nothing worse than spending a lot of time learning the technology that is not in demand. So in this video, we'll talk about top 10 newly emerging technologies to learn in 2024. Whether you're a student or professional, learning these technologies will open doors to abundant opportunities. My name is Akash, and for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a software engineer working at Microsoft. Before we get started, please hit like button and subscribe to get notified about future videos. First technology that we'll explore is generative AI. Generative AI is a technology that helps create new content such as images, text, or music. In this technology, a machine learning model is trained to learn common pattern from images, text, or music, and then it generates new content given some input. For example, you can provide prompt to a chat GPT model to generate text, or you can provide textual description to mid journey to generate an image. Neural network and prompt engineering are the backbone of generative AI. The technology aims to automate creative tasks and assist in generating new content to save time and resources. However, at the moment, the capability of the generative AI is limited. For example, if you consider ChatGPT, the model tends to hallucinate, meaning it would make up false fact or information that do not exist. And that is not useful if you are writing for applications such as academia or news. Similarly, image generation model creates content that can easily be identified as AI generated. Over the next few years, the businesses will invest heavily to improve the shortcomings of the existing technology. With the rise of generative AI, it is important that the technology is used wisely. Hence, a new field called AI ethics and responsible AI are emerging rapidly. For example, a generative AI model that generates nude given an input image was in news. It is called deep fake. To prevent such things from happening, Experts in AI ethics and responsible AI are in high demand across the world. They will help build the technology that will maintain the security, privacy, and trust of the user. If you're expert in generative AI, you can easily make around $200,000 a year. Next up, we have data science and machine learning. Data science and machine learning involve extracting insights and pattern from large data set to help make data-driven decisions. Often these technologies are used to create predictive models to solve complex problems. For example, training a machine learning model to identify if a patient has a cancer using skin images or forecasting the amount of inventory that will be required at a warehouse. Data processing, exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, model training, evaluation, and deployment are key component of data science and machine learning. And it can help automate complex tasks to improve the efficiency and productivity of any organization. Data quality, bias, and interpretability of complex model are major problem with the technology. So if you are planning to learn this technology, it might be wise for you to focus your attention on these problems. Average salary for a data scientist or machine learning engineer is around $150,000 to $200,000. IoT, also known as Internet of Things, is the third emerging technology. IoT refers to the network of interconnected devices and sensors that communicate with each other over the Internet. IoT system mainly consists of sensors, actuators, connectivity modules, and data processing units. This component enables devices to collect, analyze, and transmit data. IoT helps improve the efficiency by automating the processes and taking data-driven decision across variety of industries. For example, smart home technology can detect that you are not at home and maintain the home temperature to save energy. Or you can look into your fridge remotely while you are doing grocery shopping. IoT enables remote monitoring control and predictive maintenance to improve the productivity and save costs. However, security and privacy are major concerns with IoT systems. Within IoT, a new technology called edge computing is emerging rapidly. Edge computing involves processing the data closer to the source. This can help reduce the latency and bandwidth used by IoT devices. It enables real-time analytics and decision-making at the edge of the network. For example, sensors located in the farm can collect data on water intake and growth on regular interval and then generate a daily report. This is an example where the computation occurs right at the source where the data is being collected. This helps reduce the data transfer to a centralized location. Salaries for the IoT professional where Vary based on the location, experience, and a job role. Usually, IoT professionals make anywhere between $70,000 to $130,000. Fourth technology that we are going to talk about is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity involves protecting computer systems, network, and data from cyber attacks, unauthorized access, and data breaches. This is achieved by implementing security measures and protocols. Aim of the cybersecurity is to mitigate the risk of cyber threats, including ransomware, malware, phishing attacks, and data theft. This can be achieved by safeguarding the digital assets, 
sensitive information and critical infrastructure. Key principles of the cybersecurity include confidentiality, integrity and availability. Apart from that, defense in depth, least privilege and continuous monitoring are also critical components. Cybersecurity measures help organization from financial losses, reputational damages, legal liabilities and disruption of operations. And having good security system helps win trust and confidence amongst partners, stakeholders and customers. Average salary for cybersecurity analysis is around $145,000. Next up, we are going to talk about green coding and sustainable tech solutions. Green coding and sustainable tech solution involve implementing environmentally friendly practices into software engineering and IT operations. This can help minimize the carbon footprint, energy consumption and electronic waste. Key principles of the technology includes optimizing the code efficiency, reducing the resource consumption, adopting renewable energy sources, and implementing eco-friendly hardware and infrastructure. And this can be achieved by energy efficient servers, virtualizations, and containerizations. Green coding practices can lead to cost saving, improved energy efficiency, and reduce environmental footprint. It can also help improve the corporate social responsibility, brand reputation, and employee moral. However, the main challenge is awareness and adaptation of green coding solutions. There's potential trade-off between the performance and the sustainability. But with proper planning, a good adoption rate can be achieved. For example, green servers are perfect to run a bad job that runs daily without any performance requirement. The new Apple Park is a great example of sustainable tech. It has solar panel to ensure entire office is powered by renewable energy. Similarly, Google has many data centers that are powered by wind or solar panel. Seawater is used as a cooling mechanism in the data center. This is another good example of green coding. Sixth emerging technology that we'll explore is blockchain technology. Blockchain is a decentralized and distributed ledger technology that records transactions across multiple computers. Aim of recording transaction across multiple computers is to have temper resistant transactions in transparent manner. Each block in the chain contains the cryptographic hash of a previous block creating a secure and immutable record of transactions. Key components of the blockchain technologies are decentralization, transparency, immutability, and consensus mechanism. Concepts such as blocks, cryptographic hashes, consensus algorithm, and smart contracts are critical to understand this technology. Blockchain offers security, transparency, and traceability of transaction to reduce the risk of fraud. However, the major problem with blockchain technology is scalability and energy consumption in proof-of-work consensus mechanism. For example, you must would have heard of Bitcoin mining farms that take up significant amount of energy. The energy consumption is so high that they are illegal in many parts of the world. Blockchain technology is also not regulated and therefore you can see crypto market to be very unstable and volatile. There is a lot of uncertainty and potential for privacy concern and data breaches in the blockchain technology. Next up, we are going to talk about full stack web development. Full stack web development involves both front end and back end component of the web application. This includes designing user interface, implementing functionality, and managing databases. Key principle of the full stack web development include understanding of both client side and server side technologies. Skills such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, and databases such as MongoDB and SQL are essential to master this technology. Technology provides end-to-end -end development of the web application, enabling developers to work on both front and back-end aspects. This provides flexibility and scalability in building complex web applications. However, it requires proficiency in multiple languages and framework, leading to a steep learning curve for the beginners. Managing both client-side and server-side component can increase the development complexity. Full-stack developer may also be responsible for deploying, testing, and maintenance of web applications. But with the rise of no-code and low-code platform, even the non-developers can create applications without the extensive knowledge of coding. This has made web development more accessible than ever. Eighth emerging technology that we are going to talk about is cloud computing and DevOps. Cloud computing involves the delivery of computing services such as storage solutions, processing power, and software over the internet without the need for local servers and personal devices. DevOps streamlines the collaboration between software development and IT operations to deliver software more rapidly and reliably. And nowadays, DevOps professionals are expert in orchestrating cloud computing technology to develop a solution to streamline hosting and release processes for a software. Key principles of the DevOps are automation, collaboration, continuous integration, 
continuous delivery, and monitoring. To learn this technology, focus on concepts such as CI-CD pipeline, version control software, configuration management tools, and monitoring solutions. For example, Git, Ceph, and Jenkins are good tools to learn. Key issue with cloud computing today is data security, compliance, vendor lock-in, and potential outages. For example, an outage in AWS can potentially wipe out major chunk of internet. Next up, we have biotechnology. Biotechnology involves the use of biological systems, organisms, and living cells to develop products that improve human health, environment, and agriculture. Key components of the biotechnology are genetic manipulation, bioinformatic analysis, and molecular biology. DNA sequencing, gene editing tools, recombinant DNA technology, and bioreactor for cell culture are key component of the technology. Biotechnology aims to address challenges such as environmental pollution, food insecurity, diseases without treatment, and sustainable energy production. It seeks to develop innovative solutions by harnessing the power of biological systems and processes. However, key challenges with biotechnology is genetic engineering, regulatory hurdles in the development and commercialization, public perception and acceptance of biotech products are also major issue in biotechnology. One interesting fact about biotechnology is that it is used to develop personalized medicines and treatments that is tailored to individuals genetic makeup. This can lead to more effective and targeted therapies with fewer side effects. For example, Moderna is developing custom cancer treatments. And lastly, AR VR, also known as augmented reality and virtual reality are also emerging technology. Augmented reality and virtual reality are immersive technology that alter perception of our physical world. Augmented reality overlays information onto real world to enhance our environment. While virtual reality creates a simulated environment to immerse user into virtual world. Oculus and Vision Pro are the latest gadget that you all would have heard about that uses AR and VR. AR and VR technology aims to enhance the user experience, improve the productivity, provide the new form of entertainment, and facilitate training and education for the users. They offer immersive and interactive experiences that can be used across various industries such as healthcare and gaming. However, AR and VR has high cost of hardware and limited content availability. Newly launched Vision Pro starts at around $4,000 with very limited applications for the early adopters. It will take significant amount of time before there are widespread applications to justify the cost of the hardware. Software developers specializing in AR and VR can make anywhere between $80,000 to $150,000 a year, while UX designers and content creators can earn between $60,000 to $120,000 a year. Apart from this, three other technology worth exploring are robotic process automation, 5G technology, and quantum computing. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to know more about this technology. To conclude, the technology that we covered represents key area of growth and opportunity in the coming years. Learning this technology will offer exciting prospect for those looking to advance their career and make an impact on digital world. Stay tuned for more insightful content on my channel and please support by subscribing and watching other video on my channel. And as always, if you have any question, please comment below and I'll try my best to answer them.